Hello, and welcome to this lecture entitled Vision 2020 and the Prevention of Blindness Globally and in the UK. My name is Nick Asprey. I'm a part-time paediatric ophthalmologist and chair of Vision 2020 UK. And I also work at the International Centre for Eye Health at the London School, helping with the Vision 2020 Links programme. The learning outcomes I'd like you to have from this talk uh, are really three. Firstly, to get a feeling for the magnitude, the causes and the distribution of global visual impairment. To understand the concept of Vision 2020, the right to sight, and nearer to home, appreciate the purpose, aims and outcomes of the UK vision strategy. Despite technological advances, we still live in a world in which health inequalities are widespread and very large numbers of people are living with sight loss. Much of this blindness is in sub-Saharan Africa, although most of the world's poor now live in middle-income countries where inequality is greatest. Poverty and blindness are intimately linked, with poverty predisposing to blindness and blindness exacerbating poverty. Being blind and poor leads to exclusion from basic health, education and social services, and exposure to isolation, ill health and economic disadvantage. It's been shown that once blindness is relieved, the opportunities for work are increased and dependence on other family members is reduced. In 1990, it was estimated that globally, 38 million people were blind and the projected figure for 2020 was as high as 76 million. However, the current estimate has been reduced to 39 million, still an enormous figure, but as a result of better data and the effect of blindness prevention programs, it is smaller than predicted. And I'll describe these programs in this module. <laughs> 